welcome to the Water of Life, the 11th to the 17th May 2020. The Lord, my shepherd. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Psalm 34, 22. Last week we examined the topic, characteristics of commitment. Using the life story of Ruth in the Bible to explore some fundamental traits of commitment which we can all emulate in our journey of life. Our topic this week is the Lord my Shepherd. Psalm 23 is one of the most popular chapters in the Bible, a most insightful and expository psalm into the nature and attributes of God as well as his relationship to his people by David the shepherd king who was described as a man after God's own heart, Acts 13, 22. The role of a shepherd is to look after a flock of sheep. This will involve leading them to good pasture for them to graze, protecting them from predators, as well as tending to their health and general welfare. Shepherds typically spend a lot of time with their sheep. They get to know them and can differentiate between them even among very large flocks. David described God as a shepherd based on his experience and understanding of the role of a shepherd. Ask yourself, do you consider the Lord to be your shepherd? One of the most outstanding characteristics of God is his love and compassion. As our good shepherd, he is concerned and interested in us, ensuring our security and well-being at all times. This doesn't mean we will not encounter life's troubles. Surely we will, and as surely, He will deliver us from all our troubles as we are His possession. As God is our shepherd and has made us in His image, so also are we shepherds in this world. As we yield to God's voice and follow His lead, we also carry the shepherding responsibility to lead in our different capacities. Examine yourself. Are you a shepherd in your area of influence, your home, family, business, or place of work? Do not let your past failures hold you down. God is the restorer of souls and will restore you to fulfill purpose. Yielding to God as your shepherd guarantees you his peace even in these troubled times. He's in your heart and soul, comfort when you need it, protection and strength to go on and praise in your heart always. The Lord wants you to live in his paradise on earth and in eternity. He wants to be your shepherd. Will you yield to him today? Consider these things and let us pray. Heavenly Father, empower me to make use of your goodness and mercy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Read on in this week's World of Life Digest and be blessed. Ministries, empowering and changing lives for God's kingdom through the Water of Life Digest.